looking for five builds that'll be very strong and you'll probably be number one in your team or are you looking to get your death sentence one down achievements done without the abuse of uh oh what's that skill yeah swan song i think that's what they used i don't know i haven't used it in a long time or do you want something that is completely new because you're completely bored of payday and want something that is completely very strong? Well, this is it. This is the best five builds for Death Sentence 1 Down. Why do I say the five best? Because, well, in how many hours of me playing this game for how many years doing it on a daily basis, the best five perk decks are obviously Stoic, Kingpin, Hacker, anarchist and armor therefore they're the best in my opinion now i know there's probably going to be somebody out there going hey, my favorite perk tech's not on your tier five list again you know what it's all opinion based go right ahead give these a try maybe change your mind or maybe change my mind it's the internet after all so you can hold me accountable for how long you want anyways as for the builds themselves i wanted to have a different weapon set for every perk the cool thing about this is that there are alternatives, so if you don't find your favorite weapon in some of these categories, you can easily swap it for a different type. As you see in the background, we're using the Gower Rifle with this build. You could probably substitute it for an AK-17 or the Eagle Heavy Rifle. Or if you wanted to do a different LMG once we go over that, the list goes on. So without further ado, I'm going to make this video format kind of similar to my 21 build video because I don't want to make this too long or too jarring and I got to show gameplay that it actually works, right? Starting off with number 5, I picked armor, simply due to its tankiness and its 2 seconds of invulnerability that it has to offer. So when your armor breaks, you have 2 seconds to get your butt back into cover or make a bullseye and choose your next action. Starting off with a 100 damage rifle, so basically a battle rifle class, we're going to be using the Gower 3. As I mentioned earlier, you could also substitute it for the AK-17, Eagle Heavy Rifle, or some other 100 damage variant. I'm going to quickly showcase the mods for each of the weapons. I don't think I need to go over them in detail, as I said. Um, I don't want to make the video too long. So we have the Gower 3 matched with another 100 damage SMG. And in this case, we're going to be using the CR-805. In these examples, we want to make sure that we got the most accuracy and stability between the both of the rifles. Paired up with a flashbang, an ice pick, and some medic bags, we have enough to support ourselves and the team. Using the points as follows, we're going to keep Inspire with painkillers, just to make sure that if anybody goes down, we can get them on their feet safely and better. And uh, for anybody new watching, I'm not a fan with Quick Fix mixed with medic bags, because Quick Fix Inspire, they're typically and most likely to go down after they get inspired. So be careful with that. Just put on painkillers and take that worry away. One point stable shot for the weapons that we need them for. Ice CTV armor with Iron Man aced. Shotgun ice so we can have those shields down. One point scavenger as that's always critical. Body expertise ace in the setup so we can have some pretty sweet breakpoints after we use Berserker in our build set. And with the battle rifles, it'll do a lot of damage. Parkour for ICTV, CTV armor setups, high value target for the dozers or anything that needs to die really quickly. Nine lives aced as I put that in standard of all of my builds. And of course, Berserker. The easy way to get the Berserker breakpoints with this build is to have your armor completely destroyed by a zeal heavy unit. They do 225 damage. So if they hit you twice, your armor goes away, and if you don't have that two second invulnerability on cooldown, you may need to wait for that, and then just take a next shot, and then your health should be reduced from 230 to 5. As you see right there, that's the best way to get Berserker on this build. After you get that damage value, you'll be taking care of any everything across your path. It's very strong and very fun. Like, let's just join at a most inconvenient time and leave.
Oh yeah, I don't like that. I like the Eagle Heavy, it's slower. Makes you play slower. I just walked to my secondary for that. What's with putting Thanatos on fucking bots anyways? I don't get it. I came just in time for you. I remember getting all the cloaker achievements was a pain in the ass. Next up is Anarchist. We're going to be using a pistol based setup. Why pistols? Because we want to utilize crits. And it's probably best to get crits with a suit because of low detection. And suit with Anarchist is the best choice. Again, for new players, I recommend using the suit with Anarchist because Anarchist is an armor gating perk deck. Complete opposite from armor, it's best to have the suit so you can have two seconds of regen. And it also comes with the two seconds of invulnerability. Again, these perk decks are very strong for a reason. So if you do damage, you get armor. And with the suit regenerating every two seconds, as long as you gate enemy hits correctly, or if you just kill them really quickly, you never have to worry about it. Utilizing the Akimbo 18C pistols, we can get a lot of DPS throughput with these. You can change these up with the CZX, um, the other set of variant pistols that do very similar damage, but it's up to you if you prefer those or if you prefer the, well, the best in my opinion, the Akimbo Strike 18Cs due to their higher pickup and better stats, and of course, better magazine count. Paired up with an AP pistol, we can have armor piercing against shields. This is very important because you don't have time to flank around them. A very good utility pistol in almost every build. However, in this setup, Anarchist does not have 230 HP. The best and easiest way to reduce your HP is your own Molotov. Throw it on the ground, take some timing and some practice, and you can get even more damage. Even more practice, you can easily set yourself up to get, heck, even 99 Berserker damage bonus. Even myself, I had troubles with it, but maybe you can do it better, who knows. Again, we're gonna be using the Ice Pick and Medic Bag. Same Inspire setup because that's the best way to support the team in case somebody goes down. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the quick fix route with medic bags. We have one joker. This is to increase your HP. So after you get your berserker value, grab a joker and your armor will surpass the 225 threshold. This is very important just in case a zeal hits you once and you don't want your two seconds to be blown away on accident. And of course having joker for you and your team makes DSOD very easy. Going over the rest, Anarchist on this build does not have Bullseye. You don't need Bullseye on Anarchist, believe it or not. And since I need points for a lot of other DPS and other team skills, we're not going to be using it. Even the Flashbang Resistance from Resilience Ace, we don't have that here. So if you do damage, or if you wait two seconds, you should have armor back up to protect you. Other builds I may suggest bullseye but it's not critical therefore it's not needed so you can play with or without it i do have another build that uses bullseye but it's very very rare to quote unquote gate by taking an enemy hit and surviving 
Surefire ace for the pistols because this will make sure we do body shots on the enemies with the armor on the enemy units. We got a very high DPS crit tree with unseen strike, low blow, and all the stability and accuracy we need. And of course the pistol tree is very basic and straightforward. More damage means they'll die faster. Less bullets means more for you. We're going with a frenzy setup so we can deal more damage in case you don't have enough time to do a Molotov throw on your feet and get a better Berserker value. Or the other benefit of frenzy is you take 10% less damage. So in case you're out there in the field taking too much heat, this will help you just a little bit, not a whole heck of a lot. So you don't blow away that two seconds of invulnerability as I mentioned. And another change to this build as opposed to my previous pistol build is Bloodthirst Ace. So if you need to reload those things quickly, just melee anything and you're good to go. All right, time for some math lessons. On the left, we have a standard anarchist setup without Frenzy Basic. And on the right, we have the build that I am presenting. You will need to duck in and out of your armor ticks that regen, but you can make it so precise that you can get up to 99% Berserker. Now, if you're not into making things precise, you can definitely make it a lot faster at the cost of some damage. Now, pistols have some damage range fall off. Even at 89% Berserker value, you get a lot of damage. And with pistols, it's probably not too big of a concern. It's definitely much faster than my previous build setups. As I said before, even myself I have a little troubles with. Chat, that I stream with, helped me with this two rule. So once all your armor's gone, step off the fire. Wait two armor ticks, which give 10 armor each by the way. Go back into the fire for two more hits, wait another two ticks, and take another two hits. Pretty simple. Thank you chat. Just a key note, these are done at full health and armor off the start. That means no joker with health bonuses, which I'll go over in just a moment, and no crew chief values or bot bonuses that affect your armor and health. So if there is a crew chief in the party, my suggestion is to zerk very similar to the way I showed earlier with armor. Get a joker and take a zeal 225 hit. So say you're in the middle of a match and you healed up, but you still have a joker. Well, my recommendation as you see there is take a zeal hit, and make sure all your armor breaks and do the same Zerk with a Molotov setup. Then you can get yourself back up to a very healthy Berserker number. However, with this build, it has Frenzy. You can do the same method. Once you have a Joker, take a hit, throw another Molly down, but the Zerk will be much quicker. So keep that in mind and keep an eye on your health and armor. Now, if you want to get creative, you can replace your Medic Bag with a Trip Mine and have Flashbangs as a throwable. So, if you don't have a joker, you need to wake two armor ticks and then explode yourself with the trip mine. But if you do have a joker, just wait until your armor breaks from an enemy, rush to your trip mine, and you're good to go. Keep in mind, this is at full health once again. But it's still very expensive. And I'm losing flashbang resistance, which I don't like. And one point in drills. Like, there's so much sacrifice. The reload is nice, and it works great with the build. I think this uh, tweak is good. It's good to see and see your own builds and try other shit, and this is another reason why I'm doing this video. Holy shit. You know that sniper die? Nice. I'm out.
Dude, this reload shit is so good for Bloodthirst. Oh my god, dude. It's so good, and it works perfectly. I don't need pumping Iron Ace. But you burn ammo so quickly, just look at that. Holy shit, that's why I like to refrain from it. Next up is Hacker. Well, I didn't have much choice here. I could have used a different set of weapons, but I chose shotguns, because shotguns are still very good. Even with the new damage range multipliers, overkill threw in for some weird reason. Shotguns didn't get impacted too much. <laughs> kind of, kind of a play on words there. But this is death sentence once and for all, so we're going to be utilizing the best of the best, and that is the Akimbo Goliath shotguns. These things will melt anything in your path, and they don't require too much skill. So I figured with hacker, might be a good setup. Now there's many ways to build this, but I'll go over how I liked it personally. You can easily tweak points however you want. It's just a hacker build. Either you can spec for dodge or you can spec for sustain. Paired up with a judge shotgun, this could take care of shields or dozer face plates or anything that you need immediately. Paired up with a suit, buzzer and medic bags and once again, Got the points for a standard Inspire setup, using two jokers with Hostess Taker, because I'm very unlucky with dodge, so I want that healing to save me. A simple shotgun tree, so then we can have more bullets on our Akimbo Goliaths, and keep the damage flowing. So I'll shotgun I ace, because what if I'm too lazy to swap to the secondary, or if I'm in a mid ECM and I need that shield to go down? Well, that's what it's there for. Standard drill point, you got crits for low blow, nothing more than that, I don't think these guns need it. Akimbo Ace, and that's it. Very easy, powerful hacker build. Just to quickly add, with the hacker perk deck, when you use the ECM and make a kill, you gain yourself an extra 20% dodge. So, like I said earlier, you can move the points for less hostage taker and maybe a less joker just to get yourself into sneaky bastard. But keep in mind, this is a 23 detection build, so I wouldn't recommend it. This is more for meant for power, for damage, and a bit of control. Another thing too you could do with the ECM is use it to stun a dozer or stun enemies and just simply kill and get as much health as you can. Which is more the reason of the build, just to do more damage and more healing, not necessarily more dodging. Pretty sure Die Hard Ace gives ICTV 20 armor. <laughs> what? On Anarchist? Unless you're thinking console. But Die Hard should not be benefiting from uh, ICTV. That's impossible. Last time I checked. Unless a recent update broke it, well then I'll take everything I said about the goddamn skill. Man, the guys are great.
Things are fun. These are fun, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck one taps. These are cool. Moving on to the perk deck that's currently unavailable because of licensing. Kingpin. Kingpin is a very strong perk deck where you hit the injector and you can tank everything except for enemies with a shotgun because they do more than your health pool. After you get a joker with Kingpin, you should be able to tank up to two zeal heavy hits and still live. Kingpin is very strong for pushing objectives and staying out in the field and tanking a lot of bullets. Easily suppresses heat off of your team and make sure the enemies focus on you. Paired up with a sniper rifle, you can easily clear waves of enemies that are just targeting you. And you can tell them who's boss with a 500 damage sniper rifle using the R93. Paired up with the 100 damage SMG, we're using the Tatanka submachine gun. This one's very unique in this case because we're gonna utilize ammo efficiency aced in case you need to get some of your bullets back if you're shooting at dozer or if you're shooting at regular enemies and you get the benefit of aggressive reload if you make a kill if it's using single fire and with such a high round magazine count it makes this build flow very nicely paired up with a buzzer and first aid kits and we're going to be utilizing the heavy ballistic setup because Light units do 67.5 damage, so just in case there's one in a group uh, next to some zeal heavy units that deal 225, you can save yourself from a grace shot. I'm not going to get too much into detail of that, but it's much better to run with 70 armor and a lot of setups. I have the points as follows. Now in this setup, we have our first aid kits matched with painkillers because I don't think quick fixed ace is necessary for kingpin. And we got a lot of sustain from Hostage Taker anyways. And last but not least is all, majority of the points are mostly into the sniper tree with ammo efficiency aced and aggressive reload aced. You can keep the ammo up pretty high with these. Two mixed in together, clearing uh, lots of enemies. Standard bullseye and diehard for kingpin because bullseye is very important. You can also use this to heal yourself. Drill points, some extra accuracy, professional basics, so then we can quick scope a little bit easier with a sniper. You can choose rifleman if you wanted to, but I guess that's a personal thing, again. And of course, nine lives, as I've shown in the previous builds. So I'm low on health, and it's like, oh my god, I watched this amazing YouTuber called Fuck you! And I don't have a grenade launcher! What do I do? Well, I could sit and wait for Hostage Taker to get me healed, but that's gonna take a long time. Well, if you have armor and hit the injector, you got yourself healed all the way back up at full because you got shot. So I took an armor hit, got healed the first time, did a bullseye, got my armor back, health is back at full. You don't need a grenade launcher or a first aid kit. It's just, you don't need to blow yourself up. You really don't. So you'll never get healed. Because I don't have armor. That's it. So here is the infamous green dozer. You gotta be really careful with these guys. Because they will one-shot you with the injector. Showcasing that single fire mode on the SMG again. If you see two dozer coming, take as many shots as you can with the sniper rifle. It does do relative damage. In this case, it came up to me really quickly. Don't be afraid to use auto fire because, again, your life is in danger. You don't have to use single fire on every single dozer. But as you can see there, you can quickly reload it because it doesn't have a speed magazine. And now that we isolated the dozer back to one, we can single fire it to death and get our ammo back.
popping off. Repair drill under. You can go under stair. What the fuck? Of course he didn't know, that's what I'm telling you. Poor guy. Did you kill the dozer? Don't run away on me, bitch. I ain't done with you. Yeah. I hear that sniper. I don't care. What the fuck? You didn't need ammo. Why'd you run all the way over there? There we go, he's gone. I kept hearing it. When I snipe on DSOD, Kev, everyone in chat, when I snipe, get most kills. For when I play with friends, play overkill, get most of the kills. I mean, like, I've been doing it longer, that's all I can say. Fuck, I missed. Good flash. Very good flash. Fuck. Need to that. Oh boy. Yep. Here we go. A very basic, simple build. Stoic. Now I know a lot of people are going to criticize me for how I pronounce it, but it's a very good perk deck and I still recommend it for those starting into Death Sands difficulty. What Stoic does is simply convert all your armor into health. More armor means more health. That's it. Very simple. It's a very strong perk deck with the flask that it has to offer. You can sustain quite a bit of enemy fire once you go back into cover. All you gotta do is soak up a lot of damage and hit the flask and you're done. And since this is such an easy perk deck, let's compare it with another easy weapon, an LMG. In this setup we're using the KSB LMG, paired up with a simple grenade launcher. So if you got lots of enemies or need ammo, this is the great pair to take it with. Measure myself up with a heavy ballistics vest and first aid kits, and of course a standard buzzer to deal with enemies. Now I didn't have a lot of points for a painkiller setup, however Stoic benefits greatly with Quick Fix Ace because that's damage reduction added on top of what Stoic has to offer. So if you need to revive somebody, please do it carefully, have at least line of sight or clear the area before you revive them. Without painkillers, they're not going to get very tanky. So do your teammates a favor and revive them a little slower instead of mashing F right away. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about builds, and with Stoic, it's always best to have a couple of jokers and hostage takers so we can keep that HP up. Stable shot for the LMG, shock and eye A setup, because I think that pairs very nicely with LMG setups, Die Hard A's for more armor from the heavy ballistics vest, some flashbang resilience, body expertise A setup so you can melt enemies very quickly without you having to panic or be overwhelmed by enemies. Professional Ace because this is more DPS for your LMG because it's silenced. It's using a silencer. Believe me, if you do testing with a loud LMG compared to a silenced LMG, the damage difference is quite a bit. Lastly is 9 lives. With a stoic build. Yeah, well, some people can go down with this build. I have accidentally, and you know what? Some people do some dumb things. It's a video game after all. Who knows what's going to happen? Especially with Payday 2's inconsistencies that everybody can agree on. 
Whether that's too many specials, too many dozers, or some awkward spawn just happened to flank you. I still recommend Nine Lives and a lot of Death Sentence One Down builds. Oh man, I can really tank with this. Met the times because one of them had a name and it confused me. You'll be fine. It has quick fix though, sorry. Well, Reserve can die. Oh my god, Pog! I know how to buy Pog cancel. <laughs> Waiting for the... These facts are saving creepy, dude. I think it was a good idea for me to play this. Holy shit. Gavin with the fucking five head strats. Am I SWAT dead yet? I want a new, I want a new police officer. Creepy bad confirmed? No. I'm just helping him because I'm a teammate. I'm a good one. Well, that I can't fix. Man, I forgot how nice Stoic feels. Holy shit. Well, that was another long build video. I hope I went over things with lots of details and maybe a bit of alternatives. And however you guys hopefully see these as fit. Again, I try to look for things that are effective, not necessarily that are totally creative and at least helping the team with team-based stuff. I know these could be a little bit boring, but I try to make them exciting as possible or at least a little entertaining. Well, I try to improve. But hey, if you learned something new or if you got any questions, I'm always happy to help. Anyways, thank you all for watching who stuck here till the very end. You guys are all awesome. Until then, I'll see you next time.